Good morning. It's Sunday, 29th of May, 2016. I am Darsa Ponnambalam and you are listening to Adhavan News. Let's take a look at the highlights on today's newspapers. The main highlight of Sunday Observer says, Japan gives 50 billion rupees aid. Strengthening economic cooperation between Sri Lanka and Japan, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe expressed Japan's intention to provide 38 billion yen, around 50 billion rupees, as official development assistance loans to Sri Lanka to promote socio-economic development in Sri Lanka. When he met President Maithripala Srisena in Nakoya, Japan, following the outreach meeting during the G7 Isesima summit, the Japanese government has promised ODA loans for the construction of of power transmission lines in the north central and eastern provinces and water supply facilities in the north central province the another highlight says thousand houses for landslide victims housing minister sajit premadasa yesterday pledged to construct thousand houses for landslide victims and for those living in landslide threatened areas in aranayaka kagurukamana and atkampala in the kekol district There is a highlight says people should be relocated from disaster prone areas US expert on disaster mitigation In the aftermath of the two tragic landslides in Sri Lanka which buried nearly 200 alive a visiting US expert on disaster mitigation said the government will have to take tough decisions in the future to ensure the safety of the people and prevent such calamities from recurring South Asia Regional Advisor for Disaster Risk Reduction from the Office of the Foreign Disaster Assistance for the USAID Michael J Ernest said there were certain areas where people should Would not be allowed to live and this will be a tough decision for any government to take he said south asia italy has developed dramatically in disaster response and mitigation and sri lanka was ahead in the region in spite of the recent calamity in the central kills resulting in the loss of many lives the highlight at the bottom says back from the top of the world jayanti kurudumbala the first sri lankan to reach the summit of mount everest and johan peeris who ended his climb just below the summit received a hero's welcome when they arrived at katinayaka airport friday night With that story let's move to the highlights on Ceylon today. The main highlight says Saudi prince he has soon following successful renegotiations with the Al Balid philanthropies prince Al Balid bin Talal the richest person in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia ranked number 41 in the Forbes list of world's richest people in 2016 will soon visit Sri Lanka. Ceylon today in its 22nd May 2016 edition exclusively reported that prince Al Balid put off his planned visit to Sri Lanka as a result of communication blunder by the officials President Maithripala Srisena has invited the prince to visit Sri Lanka and he will be visiting the country soon Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs Dr Harsadi Silva told Ceylon today He also confirmed reports about Al Balid philanthropies offering 1 million US dollar as donations to flood victims The announcement came at the first ever World Humanitarian Summit held last Monday where Our delegates from 175 countries gathered in Istanbul. The another highlight says there is still hope. A group of young people who came together on the social media platform Facebook and undertaken the noble task of providing relief to landslide and flood affected even weeks after the disaster without asking anything in return gives a ray of hope that Sri Lanka has still not lost its humanity despite some politicians and organization have been acting in a dramatically opposite manner. Another highlight says NIND to help flood and landslide victims an insurance scheme to compensate the Sri Lankan citizens fishermen and small businessmen who face natural disasters was introduced in Sri Lanka for the first time under a concept of Minister of Finance Ravi Karnanayake 1 lakh rupees will be given in case of death and up to 2.5 million rupees damages will be compensation for the loss of property the life insurance claims will be paid after 6 months no premium is charged for this insurance which is named as national insurance for natural disasters there's a highlight says cm and navy red charges 
People's attention has been drawn to the Eastern Province Chief Minister Nasir Ahmad and his outburst at the naval officer who was the compere at a school function organized at the Sampur Mahavidyalaya by the Navy during the latter part of last week. When the video of the Eastern Chief Minister reprimanding the naval compere telling him to get out you idiot was released, it raised many people's eyebrows. They did not condone the alleged misbehavior of the chief minister towards a navy officer. Others said it was an occasion when the power of provincial councils was ignored. Finally, I am taking a quick look at the Sunday Times. China gets huge projects in Polanarava district. Several multi-million dollar development projects in the Polanarava district are said to be doled out on a single bid basis to China companies in a departure from the new government's proclaimed policy of calling for open, competitive tenders. Exim Bank of China is lending the necessary funds on concessional terms. Two such companies have already started gratis feasibility studies in the water and transport sectors. Another highlight says PMO blames museum director for damage to Anuradha Buddha statue at temple trees. The Prime Minister's office has blamed the director of the National Museum for the damage caused to an Anuradha era Buddhist statue while it was on display at the temple trees during the Vesak period. Prime Minister's secretary Saman Ekanayaka told the Sunday Times that an initial prop by the PM office pointed to lapses on the part of the Department of National Museums. The three-member committee headed by an additional secretary will hand in its report tomorrow. There is a highlight says orders to evacuate people from landslide prone areas. Five district secretaries have been told to identify and relocate people living in areas susceptible to landslides. That's all for today's newspaper highlights and join us tomorrow too. Thank you.